Good afternoon. Welcome back to Pouring Through Life by Shannon Pritchard. I am going to do a pour on this 12 by 12 cradle wood canvas. And I'm going to do some greens and some sea blues. So I don't really have a composition in mind. I'm just going to put it down and blow it out and see what I get. Um, I am going to do white cell activator. Um, the cell activator I use is going to be titanium, Amsterdam titanium white with Aussie Floetrol mixed to a three to one ratio. Um, I'm trying to decide, I thought about doing white with gold and black, but I don't know yet. I might just have it ready just in case I decide to do it. Um, the gold I have is Amsterdam Deep Gold, and the black is Lamp Black Amsterdam. Um, all mixed with Australian Floetrol 3 to 1. Uh, I'm just going to give them a shake. Make sure they're mixed. The gold I haven't used in a while. Okay, so colors are going to be a whole bunch. Um, just because I'm going to lay it down differently. Um, kind of differently. So I have Liquitex Phthalo Cyanin Green, if I'm saying that correctly. This is Malachite by Color Art. I have Gold Sparkle, Abalone Shell, oh no, Centerference Gold. This is Indian Spice, and I might not use all of these, but I have them ready just in case. Uh, Robin's Egg, that's the new Dragonfly Wings. This is Pebio's Iridescent Silver. Uh, Amsterdam Pearl Blue. This is Sea Goddess by Color Art. This one is Mermaid Scales. So I'm going kind of like a sea theme. And I think this is Abalone Shell. Yeah, Abalone Shell. So those are my colors. I'm going to start with. I don't know yet. I'm still th trying to plan that all out in my head as I go. Um. I might start with the Indian Spice and then the darker green. I don't know yet. I kind of just go with the flow and see what comes. So my pillow paint today is too thin. I'm trying to think if I have another one that I have enough of. There's, I don't think there's enough in this. Yeah, there's not enough in this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the thinner pillow paint just because it's what I have and then I can thicken it up. And this one is two different paint bases. I mistakenly bought color placed light base on accident. So then I went and bought the white and I mixed it together. There's also GAC 800, Oatrol and XIM in there and I need to add a little bit of paint. So let's just dump some paint on here and then that should get my level down enough where I can add some more white paint into it. It's way more than I need, but I'm doing that on purpose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the colors down, I'm going to blow it out, and then I'm going to take you to the pool in order to spin it so I don't make a mess everywhere. level it's a little high towards the back I'm just gonna put a couple pop sticks on there and see if that gets me closer to level here perfect okay so I've been thinking about this for a little bit I'm gonna put the Indian spice down first Liquitex, Phthalo Cyan and Green. <clears throat> and I'm going to do Robin's Egg. It's 
real pretty pearly bluish green. A little bit of gold sparkle. This is the Malachite Green, which is just the most incredible green, emerald green that I've seen of any color ever. I might do another dop, a little dollop of this right before I do the cell activators. I haven't quite decided yet. So this is the Iridescent Silver. So these are fairly organized puzzle petals. I'll do abalone shell on the silver. They go phenomenally well together. Actually, hold on. Just a little bit of this pearl white down. It's pearl white, but it shifts blue. I'll do some abalone shell. Okay, so that's the end of my organized puzzle puddles. Now I'm gonna do a little bit more of a messy style bloom. Just wanted to say hi. Hi, honey. So just kind of like that. Oh, that was mermaid scales. This one is sea goddess. soft pretty colors in the dragon wings collection okay and interference gold will be my next one this is blingant interference gold sparkle and then I'm going to put the malachite green on top. bit of this shiny malachite. Things that I'm using a white cell activator. I want the top color to be dark so that it shows the lacing. Hello. Okay, so this is gonna be this gold cell activator. I'm gonna put that first. Good news. Oops. All right.
to keep that from rolling off the edge there. in these voided spots because I'm trying I'm gonna try again for some negative space okay. so before I go to the pool I'm just gonna spread this over to these little areas with the hopes that what's here will slide a little easier Green, green shamrock pour. Hopefully some of these little colors that I sprinkled will show up to the party. If not, green is okay. It's pretty. Okay, let me go take this and then I'll come back and grab you. to do this with keeping some of my negative. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> we'll see. So that was a no. Paint's way too thin to keep negative. But it might appear to be negative because of the composition. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's see if I can get that weight that way a little bit. Any of those colors showed up, those light ones. Oh god, I drip paint everywhere. This paint is much thinner than I like it. I gotta fix my base. Okay, just touching up these edges a little bit. It's really pretty though. with that. I'll have to see if any of those colors show up because they're so light and that green is very powerful. But if you look down in the center, you can see them peeking through a little bit. Very cool. All right, guys, if you liked the video, please hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. I'd love to hear from you if you guys have any anything that you would like to ask i'd be more than happy to answer all right you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next pour bye for now